and welcome back to The Crochet Crowd. It's my friends at Yarnspirations.com. I have the Mikey O-Matic and today I'm gonna tell you why I've created it and also how it's used. So I was looking at these Karen Colorama Halo yarn and I noticed that the outside of the ball is a different color than the interior of the ball. Therefore, when you have colors in a project, you can actually use the two different colors. So I came up with a pattern that's not out yet, but will be in the future, is that this is ball A. And so you'll have ball A from the interior and then ball A from the exterior. And as this ball is transitioning, if you can get in there closely, is that it's just perfect phasing. And so it's going to phase and change colors automatically as it goes through. So the one strand is pulling from the outside and the other is coming from the inside. The inside of the ball is just resting on the platform, will just naturally come out of the bottom. And the way that I designed this is that it will come out. If you want the free blueprints, just follow the link in the more information and I provided that for you. So it's just gonna rest here. The other ball is just the same thing. So on patterns, what I have here, if you look at it, is that we had ball B from the, from the interior and then ball B from the in exterior. So it's the same yarn ball, it's just pulling from a different section. So this is a four in one tool. If you just have one cake and you don't wanna use the underneath, you could just have the center come up through the strand and then over to your hand. If you wanna use the same yarn to marl yarn together to double strand, you can have the exterior go up and the interior go down. The interior must go down. If it comes out through the sit up here, it'll tangle with this yarn. That's why it has to go in two different directions. Then you can also use and do both of these here so that you can have double stranding. So if you wanted to put the two strands together, depending on the colors, that's called marling as well. And then you can also use the, all the strands here and put all the yarns together and just completely do it. So you see, no friction comes out. The trick to this whole thing is the height of the wire. So the wire is 13 inches from the top here to the platform. If it's too low, it causes too much friction. So if it's too low, it'll be really rubbing against the ball. But if it's high enough, it just wants to go straight up. So as these balls get less, this will get more and more narrow and you can just push it back. I haven't had a problem with it collapsing because I don't need to touch my balls. I just need to grab the strands and it naturally comes out. When you start these balls, you're going to notice that you probably have a little bit of yarn bark in the center, but you know, it takes just a few minutes of crochet just to get rid of that. So um, this is the Mikey O-Matic. The free patterns are on my website. See the video description and I provided the link for it. It is so pedestrian, but it's a tool that solved my problems. And if you have lots of problems, maybe this will solve it too. It doesn't provide psychiatric help though. <laughs> Don't we wish.